Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I would do a quick video on a few ways I've been trying to kind of stay occupied and cheery during lockdown. Now before I get started I have obviously had some good days and some bad days. Um, I think we all have and it's hard not to have bad days and you know it's also hard not to have good days hopefully. Um, yeah it's it's unprecedented and we are amid this pandemic and it's a weird weird time but hopefully we can have some good days and some bad days and there's kind of a few things that I've been doing during this time to try and to try and stay cheery. So the first thing I I have to say is that I have been trying my hardest not to look on Twitter, not to scroll, scroll through what's going on, not to not to kind of keep up with all the fake news and the conspiracy theories and all that stuff. I just watch 5 p.m. press conference and I very morbidly, and I'm very embarrassed, but I, I feel like we kind of need to, but I've been kind of keeping it on the death toll, which is really painful, but I think important so that we kind of keep taking this seriously. Um, and you know have respect for the fact that a lot of people are losing their lives and that's why we are all doing this so I've been that's kind of my major thing um I don't watch Sky News I don't I try not to just watch too much too much do you know what I mean just I just keep it to the simples I keep it to the press conference and I do keep an eye on the death toll um I don't know if that's wrong or right but that's kind of something I've been doing. At first my boyfriend was watching Sky News and it was really stunning to get to both of us. So we made a rule. Uh, anyway, things I've been doing to kind of keep myself cheerful. Um, I've been having a lot of baths. I know it's very obvious, but they do really work. And not only that, but um, I'll start again, but once dinner is finished, um, by the time you run a bath, you get in that bath, you soak in that bath, you listen to a podcast in that bath, then you get out the bath and you feel like the evening's kind of done um, and it's bedtime and I've been trying to get quite early nights and kind of tried to keep quite well rested. My dog wakes me up at 6.30 in the morning which is way too early so at least if I go to bed nice and early it means that I get quite a lot of sleep and a bath is a great way to fill the evening so that you don't, I think that's Gordon, can you hear him? He's dreaming. No? Oh well. Anyway, a bath is a really good way to use up the evening without kind of getting sucked into TV or the news or I don't know. It's just a good way to use up the evening. And also I've been doing a lot of face masks while I've been in the bath. So I don't know if my skin looks any better, but it feels nice. And I like doing a face mask and it feels like kind of a weirdly productive thing to do while I soak. Um, also, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I always listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm a big podcast fan. However, at the moment, I've been avoiding everything true crime, everything serial killer, everything cult, everything that's a bit miserable, to be honest. I've been trying to really focus on the podcasts which are fun and bring me joy and bring me light and all those kind of good things. Um, so I have actually done a podcast um, edit uh, video. Um, why am I not getting these words out? So <laughs> I will link that below or in a card or whatever, but some of my favorites include We Need to Talk About Britney, which is very fun. This is Love, uh, Filling the Void, and I'm trying to think what else. I don't know, there's many. Oh, Mystery Show, promise it's not about mysteries. It's not about like serial killers. It's about mysteries like Whose belt buckle is this? It's pretty good. Also, we have been going on a lot of dog walks. As you know, you may not know, we have a dog, Gordon. He's wonderful. And we take him on our daily dog walk. Um, he needs he needs a lot of walks, bless him. He's a black Labrador, he's lovely. And yeah, we've been going on daily dog walks. So that's really good. And that just kind of gives me some air. I think if we didn't have him, I would be a bit nervous about going out the house. So I totally understand if you haven't been for a walk in a couple of weeks, I get it. Um, but you should try if you can, 
if you are able to. Um, I would say avoid peak times. We try to go either quite early or quite late. Sometimes when most people are having dinner, that's when we are out having our walk or we get up really early in the morning. Like, as I said, Gordon wakes us up at 6.30. Sometimes we get out, literally, we're walking by 7.30 and it is very early and we are very bleary eyed, but it does mean that no one else is around. That's really good. So if you are kind of really trying to kind of stick very, very, very strictly to social distancing and you want to walk and you're nervous about it, I would say just try and go out really early or really late or kind of in the middle of the day but not lunchtime non-peak times <laughs> non-peak times also we have a very 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 small garden it's barely even a garden i don't even think we have grass but we have a small outside space and i've been trying to take a coffee out at least once a day today i had quite a few coffees and i didn't have any of them outside so i took a bag of jelly babies outside and that was really nice had a little bit of a nap, it was nice. Uh, we just sat in the sun, me and my boyfriend and Gordon. And if you do have a little bit of outside space, try and take advantage of it because not everybody's that lucky. During lockdown, we have been buying so many fresh vegetables. Um, I've been finding that the fresh vegetables are much easier to source than anything else. So we have been making a lot of fresh food, a lot of soups, a lot of bolognese, a lot of stir fries. We have been veggieing it up a storm. It's been really fun, but cooking has been quite a good use of time. Not only are we having a lot of fresh veg, which is obviously good for our mental health, but um, the cooking is quite a nice activity to do and it takes up a lot of time. So if you, if you're a bad cook like me, just ignore it and get in the kitchen anyway. I find soups, stir fries, uh, dolls, things like that really good even if you're a rubbish cook like me. Um, and we've also been making lots of bread. It's been quite hard getting bread flour but we have managed it and we have a KitchenAid and we've been making bread every day so it's quite fun because you make the dough, you let it rise, then you mix it again, you knock it back and it goes down again and then you put it in the pan then it rises again and then you bake it. So it's quite a nice long-winded process, which again, kind of takes up quite a lot of time in a really nice way. Um, we've done a little bit of baking, not a huge amount. We've been making flapjacks. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna make a Betty Crocker from a box pan of brownies, which I'm quite excited about. Um, I'm not a big baker um, and I don't have all the ingredients, but I have some and I've been trying to bake because it's fun and it's a good use of time and it's delicious, <laughs> let's be honest. I've also been listening to a lot of audiobooks um, just because it's a nice thing to do. Kind of, I like having a podcast or an audiobook kind of plugged in. It's like having a friend and it also means that I'm not, you know, watching the news if I'm listening to an audiobook. Again, I've been trying to kind of make it quite fun, quite lighthearted. I've got like lockdown brains, so I am a bit like foggy. I, I don't want anything too heavy and I don't want anything which requires too much brain power, which is probably why I loved the Jessica Simpson autobiography. I loved it. I was never a fan. I don't know any of her songs, uh, apart from her St. Nancy Sinatra co uh, cover, which I didn't really appreciate, but whatever. But I loved her book. Who knew? I loved her book. It was so good. What else have I been doing? I've been feeling grateful for stuff. I feel very lucky for like not even huge things, but like for the fact that we have some outside space and for the fact that we have a dog and the fact that we have a kitchen. When we were renovating, we did not have a kitchen. We did not have a fridge. And I feel really grateful that we no longer live in London and just little things that I'm really, really, really grateful for. And instead of feeling sad about the things that I can't do, I've been feeling really grateful about the things that we can do and the things that we have. And not everybody has these things. So I feel really grateful. Um, I feel really grateful that we've been able to get cardo deliveries. I feel really grateful that we can go for dog walks. I feel really grateful that we have a KitchenAid and we can make bread. Like there's a lot to feel grateful for. I'm sure your list of grateful things is completely different to mine. 
but I feel really grateful for those things nevertheless. Um, I'm not a big cleaner, um, but I have been trying to kind of keep the place tidy just so it makes us feel good. But something I do really like doing, I really like organizing drawers. I like to open a cupboard and organize it or tidy it. And it doesn't really make any space. I don't really throw much away, but just organizing a drawer kind of gives me a bit of a sense of purpose and organization. So I've been kind of trying to organize like drawers here and there, cupboards here and there, rearranging the food cupboard. It, it's something to do, it's quite fun. It gives me a sense of um, what to share, how it's say, gives me a sense of order in a life of chaos or something. I can't remember the exact quote, but you know the one I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean doing. I've been wearing a lot of perfume. I always wear perfume anyway, but during lockdown, I have been perfume queen. I have been reapplying all over the show. I love it. It makes me feel good. I love wearing perfume. I wear it for me rather than for other people. And during lockdown, I have literally been misting all the time because it really does it makes me happy, so wear a lot of perfume. <laughs> I've been sending my friends voice notes. Um, I love sending voice notes, they're so much fun, but I've been sending voice notes on WhatsApp. I've been sending voice notes on Instagram DM. I love it. I send them to my Instagram friends, I send them to my real friends, I send them to my parents. I send them to friends, I just send them all the time. I have so many conversations going on via voice notes and it's so much fun. I was so nervous about doing voice notes. Like maybe like a year ago, I was really nervous of voice notes. They were terrifying to me. Now I love them, they're so much fun. If you've never done a voice note, go on WhatsApp, record one, go on Instagram DMs, record one, they're really fun. And it's kind of like talking to a friend, but in not so much in real time. So you can have a coffee, do a voice note. You can do a little bit of work, do a voice note. You can organize a drawer, do a voice note. Make a loaf of bread, do a voice note. It's just a really fun way to kind of break up the day and have like loads of little kind of mini podcasts from your friends. And I really, really, really enjoy that. Um, and I think that's kind of it. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. But I hope that's of help. Um, I've also been making videos every day and it's really fun talking to all of you and um <laughs> i know i don't have a big following on here but i really love the people who are on here and i don't know i'm so sorry my memory card filled up anyway i was just saying thank you for making it fun and um i feel like we're doing this together is that just me um anyway thank you so much I hope these things have helped you. If you are kind of bored and lonely or um, just miserable and just fed up and sick of talking to the same few people, always please feel free to DM me on Instagram for a chat, for a voice note. and um, Or if you want, you can do your vo first ever voice note to me and kind of, I'll be your guinea pig. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you are staying safe and staying happy and we all have good days and bad days in lockdown and hopefully hopefully you can have more good days than bad days anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully i'll see you again soon if you haven't yet subscribed please do i would love to see you again and um yeah dm me on instagram send me a voice note i'll send you one back i'm at labels for lunch anyway thank you so much see you again soon goodbye <laughs>